Hello everyone, in this lecture we will study about speed consideration. Speed consideration in the case of MOSFET as a switch, as illustrated in this figure 15, you can see a simple measure of speed is the time required for the output voltage to go from zero to the maximum input level after which the switch turns on. So this is a simple measure of this speed that it, it is simply this time required for the output voltage to go from zero to the maximum input level after which the switch turns on. Since we have take infinite time to become equal to V in naught, we consider the output settled when it is within a certain error band del V around the final value. And for example, we can say that the output settles to 0.1 accuracy after TS second as meaning for this figure shows as shown over here okay and we can assume that del v upon v in naught is equals to 0.1 percent okay so there is a 0.1 percent error for an output to reach the maximum input level v thus the speed specification must be accompanied by an accuracy specification as well and note that after t is equals to ts we can consider the source and drain voltages to be equal okay source and drain will become equal to vd and from the circuit of this figure we surmise that the sampling speed is given by two factor the on resistance of the switch and the value of the sampling capacitor thus to achieve a higher speed a large expect ratio that is w by l and a small capacitor must be used R on also depend on the input level, giving a greater time constant for more positive input. Okay, so basically the on resistance depend upon input level, which give a greater time constant for more positive input in case of NMOS switch. Okay, in the case of NMOS switch, you can see over here, NMOS on resistance increases as the input voltage become more positive and vice versa, where in the PMOS case, uh, has an opposite behavior it decreases as the input voltage become more positive so we can combine pmos and n bonds for complementary switches and rail to rail swing if when needed the complementary switch reveals much less variation in on resistance that they correspond to each switch so there is much less variation in on resistances when they are combined the pmos and n mos switch used together in a complementary switch. So you can see there is much less variation if we use both of the switch together. Okay, and for higher speed input signal, it is critical that the NMOS and PMOS switches as shown in this figure 17 turns on simultaneously so as to turn off simultaneously to so as to avoid ambiguity in the sample value. If for example, the NMOS device turns off del T second earlier del t second earlier than the pmos device then the output voltage tends to track the input for the remaining del t second but within a large input dependent time constant as shown in this figure 18 okay this effect can give rise to distortion in the sampled value and for moderate precision the simple circuit as shown in this figure 19 provides complementary clock by duplicating the delay of inverter I1 through the pass gate of G1. Okay, these are the parameters we can use while considering the speed of MOSFET switches. In the next lecture, we will consider precision. Thank you.